Hello everyone, my name is Karen Hannan, Director of Artsois, and it is my pleasure to be with you today. 2021 into 2022 has been a time of reinvention and evolution. But now, after a tumultuous two years of lockdowns and restrictions that helped stave off the worst of the pandemic's damage, Washington's creative community is starting to rebuild and reimagine the world around it. Artsoir is a proud part of that creative community. As your Washington State Arts Commission, our mission is to be a catalyst for the arts, advancing the role of the arts in the lives of individuals and communities throughout the state. And we too were tasked with reimagining how to best support Washington's diverse and growing creative economy. So we did what we do best. We listened, strategized, and got down to work. Here are just a few examples. Our Grants to Organizations team reached into 29 counties to distribute over $1.8 million in funding to small, mid-sized, and large organizations across the state. We held community forums across the state to make sure your voice was heard in our 2022 to 2027 strategic plan. It was published this summer and it lays out the vision and goals for the next phase of our agency's evolution. The Arts in Education team supported online, hybrid and in-person arts programming for K-12 students across the state. Our award-winning Creative Districts program welcomed four new communities, Bainbridge Island, Rainier Valley in Seattle, South Columbia in Kennewick, and Moses Lake into its growing cohort. We reimagined the Governor's Arts and Heritage Awards as the Luminary Awards to honor those who stood as shining lights for their communities during the darkness of the pandemic. We created a dynamic virtual presentation that allowed the entire state to take part in the celebration. Our communications team launched Creative State, a free podcast that explores creativity across Washington in all its diverse forms. And the Art in Public Places team oversaw the installation of 25 commissioned artworks and four curated collections across 12 counties. And last but certainly not least, we began work on our largest ever conservation project, the restoration of Dick Elliott's Circle of Light on the Yakima Valley Sun Dome in Yakima, Washington. There's much more to explore in this year's annual report. I hope it inspires you as it does us to continue our work together as we reinvent and reimagine the future of Washington creativity. Thank you.